Hi, my name is Joshua. Joshua, that's my, my train of thought. I made blueberry muffins and they came out good. Okay. First of all, I used the dry ingredients, the sugar, the, the, the flour, the baking powder, baking soda. I mixed it up. And then I added, I first did oil and then I did the other stuff. I didn't like the oil because it looked crumbly and I didn't want to use it. So then I decided to get rid of it. And then I used butter. So butter was better. And then I felt the results came out amazing. What I saw when I used the butter is that it creamed it and it creamed it and creamed it. And I finally added my other ingredients, the eggs and stuff, and then the vanilla. And I added my dried ingredients and it made it look like some sort of clotted cream or like some sort of custard. And then the end results, add in my stuff, then add in my blueberries. Before I added my blueberries, I added a tablespoon of flour. The flour was meant to keep the juices inside the blueberries. Blueberries and strawberries are juicy. They have natural fruit juices. And so what happens is those juices, when you're making a pie, if you don't put something to thicken it, it will run everywhere and you will have like soup. So sometimes what I do when I'm making bread or I'm making muffins is I add a tablespoon of flour and I find it works because sometimes muffins are gummy because they don't, the blueberry stuff is too juicy and the juices get inside and they make the stuff gummy and it's not fit to eat. It's gross. It's degelasse. So I have something to show you. This is how amazing they look. And this is a trial error and stuff like that. I added a little bit of sugar on top. They look really good. I added sour cream to the mixture, half a cup. That's all you need. And sometimes you can add a little bit of like, if you're making a coffee cake, you can add a little like lemon zest for a little extra flavoring. I added a quarter tablespoon of vanilla and that's it. And this stuff made the most amazing blueberry muffins in the entire world. And this is the end result of it. And if you're having a uh, church thing, a dinner, or get together, whatever you're having, you can have people come and and people can come and they can eat your delicious blueberry muffins. That's your thing. And you can brag to people about your delicious blueberry muffins because they are good. The sour cream makes it soft. I found another recipe that calls for like blueberry muffins with streusel. You can add the streusel at the end and then the yogurt and the sour cream goes in there. And what it does is it makes it soft and moist and tender. These muffins are good. <laughs> they are soft. And that is from the sour cream. I'll tell you one thing. I was extremely proud to make these things. And very, very, very proud. Very proud. And these will be very good for breakfast. It makes about six, of course, as you all know, because I used about one and a half cups of blueberries at the tail end of the recipe. And so I may have used too many. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you one thing. It's just it's amazing to see what you can do with a with with a recipe. Next time I'm gonna try to make something else. I've always wanted to try to make like I used to make this blueberry grunt. It's like a peach cobbler, but it's on the stove. And you add your ingredients, and then after you add the blueberry and the sugar and the, the water. You make your dough and then it cooks in so it's sort of like steamed pudding. Because in the United Kingdom, if you do go there, they do bake and steam their puddings. I think that is a tradition that the British have. I've never been there. I've eaten some of stuff that's not the greatest in the world. I have something called like toad in a bowl or whatever. Toads wouldn't want to eat it because it's so gross and disgusting. It's bland sausages with this dough stuff or they have this Yorkshire pudding. It's it's gross. It's the bland. And, 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 and I prefer we like something with a little flavor. They might have cooked a little bit too much on the tops, but I like the fact that the sugar gave them the golden color. Maybe they were a bit hard on the top, but I added a little bit of sugar to give it a little bit of crispiness, because sometimes the streusel will do that. But the muffins themselves look amazing. They were not in there 40 minutes. They are in there like 20 something minutes. They're soft on the inside, a little bit crunchy on the inside. I find this recipe, it's something, that, and there's nothing healthy in there for you. The sour cream is the only healthiest thing that you're actually going to get because there's sugar. So 
Really, honestly, seriously, I'm not saying this to be mean, but a lot of people, if you want healthy, you're going to have to go to the health food store because I don't cook anything healthy. And sometimes I kind of feel like these muffins are not the greatest, but I have never tried this recipe before, and I was home and I was bored. I was like, mm. you know, they're going to come out gummy. I don't have cups of blueberries. And I wasn't sure at first. I thought, you know, I'm afraid that these muffins might be soggy. I'm like, no, I'll do it anyway. So I take quarter cups and slop it in these these things and then when i was done i, I finally realized all i did was wait and see right so i think the flour that i've talked about actually helps to make the juices in the blueberries either absorb the juices or helps the juices to stay inside the blueberries. i'm not sure what it does but i like the technique and i found that out somewhere and i've been using it and i'll tell you one thing i uh, i have stuck to it ever since um, the blueberry bread that I made was amazing. One time I had like orange juice, sugar, and then oil. There was no butter at all whatsoever. But the, the thing that I find interesting about this is a lot of times when you're, you know, doing a recipe or stuff, you want to come home and it's, it's like, it's stressful. And you wanna, the kids need something to snack. I mean, this is a perfect snack. I am, I'm proud that I did this. So if you want to try this recipe, you can like my YouTube channels and you can subscribe if you want to. Uh, you'll see what I did in the other channel that I was making the blueberry muffins. This is talking about the results of the muffins, which are amazing. They're soft in the inside, crispy on the outside due to the sugar. Um, I definitely will be making these again. Um, I can kind of recipe with blueberries sometimes, like when I made blueberry coffee cake. It's kind of a trial and error. Blueberries are juicy. I add flour. It's not so bad. So, like I said, it's trial and error, but I'm very proud and pleased that actually these muffins actually came out good. That they actually looked good. They actually look good. So I'm Joshua, and I'm telling you one thing. These muffins are, are, are good, and they're amazing and stuff. So... I'm, I'm pretty pleased. So if you want to subscribe or like to my video, that would be great. Um, right now I'm going to end the stream because it's a little windy in case we do get a power outage or something.